Hi, Erica from Bow Sweet. I've had some requests to do a tutorial on bows. So today we're gonna do a little mini bow. Uh, it's a twisted boutique bow or a loopy bow. And you can do them different sizes. We're just gonna do a really small one um, that's cute for holding the bangs back or any kind of little accent in the hair or for little, little girls. You're gonna need ribbon that is 3 8 inches wide. This is 10 inches long for the, the loopy part of the bow. This is the center piece. I like to do that while it's still attached to the roll. So I don't actually measure that. It's probably a little bit more than three inches. But I'll show you how to do that later. A clip to put the bow on. And this is lined with ribbon. You can see how to do that in my other tutorial. Uh, it can be a single prong alligator clip or a double prong, it doesn't matter. Um, but you do need a double prong for tying the bow. So you gotta have one of those. Some heavy duty thread, scissors, glue gun, a wood burner or a lighter to seal the ends of the ribbon. So we're gonna start with the bow using the 10 inch piece. And if you want, you can mark the middle of your ribbon either with a pencil or you can kind of crease it. Um, I've just done it a lot so I don't really need to do that. So you take one end and loop it around like this and leave, leave some room on the end. This will be one of the tails. And it looks just like a, a breast cancer awareness ribbon. So make sure that it's not turned something like that. So it should be looped around like that. And then you're going to take the bottom piece and go the other way and put it on the back. So you've got one on the other side, the same kind of way. If you angle these more, see like this with a bigger loop like that, you're actually gonna have a flatter loop when you're done, if you see. It's not quite so twisted. So you really actually want a kind of a narrow angle. And this just takes some practice on how big to make each loop and just kind of pulling pulling it different ways to get the, the look that you want. Now you're going to take that top loop, the first one that you made, pull it down about halfway, make sure your fingers in the halfway mark of the loop, pull it down to the middle, and this is actually going to be the back of the bow that you're looking at right now. Then you're going to take the bottom and let that tail go through the middle of that loop and pull it up to the middle, and it will overlap the top one a little bit. And then if you turn it over, you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And this is where your double prong alligator clip comes in to hold that together while you tie it. You could sew the bow together, but we're just going to tie it. And then you can make some adjustments if it doesn't look quite how you want it to look. If you want this loop bigger, you just have to kind of learn where the loops are coming from so you're not pulling it in strange directions. The back should have some straight lines there. So we're going to put the knot in the back so the string will go through this hole between the bow and the clip there. Make sure not to tie the string to the clip because you're going to take off the clip in a second. Just a nice square knot that will hold. Clip off the strings, take off your clip, and then you can kind of bend it back this way so that the, the loops will pop up. At this point I like to treat it to hold its shape. So I, I use a, it's kind of a stiffener but it doesn't make the fabric stiff. And then I actually stick it in the oven just like corkers. And that way it'll hold its shape forever. And then you can clip these at whatever angle you like. You can even do a V-cut. Seal the ends. The wood burner or your lighter. Now you're going to glue it to the clip. 
So I put the glue on the back just so I can cover that knot and all four pieces of ribbon that you can see there so it won't come out. to the clip right in the middle and this bow should hold its shape really well just because of how it's tied but it does help to cook it in the oven yum yum okay this is where your knot comes in for the center of the bow I just leave it on the roll so I don't waste ribbon and so you have plenty of room to tie it same kind of thing breast cancer awareness shape and then you just pull that tail through. It's kind of like tying a shoe, but you just have to be careful to get that knot to look just right. And then I kind of just fiddle with it till it looks like a good knot. And then I pull it a little more. This takes a little practice too to get a good looking knot. And then you cut it off. So you have something like this. So then I'll put a little glue. You can either put it on here or right onto the bow. I just like to do it on there. Place the knot in the center. And wrap it around. And I use my two fingers on the sides. Now here you could cut each one separately. I'm just going to cut them together. You could do it right up to the clip because that still gives you plenty of space. Seal those ends. I got a scary looking point on this today. That's the point I like to use for ribbon sculptures. Okay, and then I put a little glue on the inside of that. That way I can open this and use my other fingers to glue that down inside. The clip can kind of hold it a little bit while it's drying. You can adjust these a little bit. But with the glue on the top and the bottom, these loops won't come out. So you can just kind of play with the shape if you need to. And there you have a mini bow. You can use any kind of ribbon, satin, grow grain. This is grow grain. It's the most forgiving and the easiest to work with. Not as slippery as satin. But satin is really pretty too. And then add a gripper strip to keep it from sliding out of the hair. And also create a nice finished look on the inside even though nobody looks at it. <laughs> There you have it. A nice, adorable mini bow.